Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. Um, I would have had this a lot, a lot sooner, uh, but I am still recovering from LASIK, uh, the PRK kind, the not fun kind that has like a uh, three month recovery. So keep that in mind in the comments when I miss stuff in game because this is very bright and hopefully the game isn't very bright, but yeah. Um, this is, this is a, a testing of if my eyes are ready. So obviously um, we are doing the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. It released January 23rd of 2020 from Skydance uh, Interactive. The same people who did uh, Archangel, the uh, really good, uh, like fast paced uh, mech fighting game, uh, 2v2 PVP, had a little bit of an esports presence for a while. Uh, the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is $39.99 for the base standard edition. Uh, it also has a tourist edition that's $49.99, but if you're like me and you have an issue and it's it's a compulsion and you have to get the super, super special edition, there is the tower edition that is $149.99 and that's the physical copy that comes with all the physical goodies like the backpack and patches and steel cases and all that crazy stuff that no one really needs but we still buy them anyways i don't know why it's 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 a compulsion it's a sickness i'm sorry um so uh i did get uh full disclosure i did get uh offered a key for this game uh from yellow pike uh, but I did turn that down because they wanted me to sign a contract that said I would avoid all bugs and I wouldn't say anything negative about the game and that I would only do positive and I wouldn't do a review. I would just play the game and a whole bunch of other stuff that I just wasn't comfortable with. Uh, initially, they wanted to, me to send my video to them so that they could review it first before they let me post it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So please remember that. Whenever I say something, it is my opinion, whether whether somebody gives me a key or not, I'm never going to agree to that. Uh, any any other, you know, marketing PR firms out there, I'm never going to agree to those terms. I'm I, I'm not big. I have no weight. I have no influence. I know that. But I, I, I have this thing and I'm going to stick to it. It's just my my morals and my personal integrity. Um, so for everyone, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, I did happen to get another key from uh, the company that same gave, gave me that um, the Archangel key, uh, which is 47 Communications. They are a much better uh, PR firm to work with. They're just like, here, have the key. Tell us what you think. Give us feedback. And they've always asked for good candid feedback. So that being said, I did buy the $150 uh, tower edition. So I have an extra key that I'm going to be giving away later. Uh, I'll tell you how to enter that uh, later on in the video, so stay tuned for that, please. Um, yes, I know, that's, that's underhanded, making you watch the video to find out. Darn me. Uh, so, uh, giveaway details later. Um, Walking Dead. I'm not a huge Walking Dead fan. I'm just cut to the trace. I don't... I'm going in with very little lore knowledge. I... Somebody tried to introduce me to it with an episode they were watching uh, in season two, I think, where uh, Grandma's being locked in the the barn and Grandma comes out the barn and they don't want to shoot her because they need to find a cure for Grandma. They can't kill Grandma. Grandma's a damn zombie. I think everybody would know a zombie if they actually saw it. They wouldn't believe it for a while, but the, the evidence is right there in your face. So, I mean, that was just kind of a turn off the, the whole like overdone drama but i hear it's really good uh i just haven't given it a chance since then so all that to say very little walking dead lore knowledge going in so forgive me if i miss easter eggs forgive me if i miss uh any of that you know like ooh, cool this is really impressive to a big walking dead fan that's going to be lost on me so full disclosure right out there in the open uh, Okay, so finally, what is this game? The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is a zombie apocalypse story-based survival game where you're going to be uh, scavenging for stuff and fighting hordes of zombies. And they're really... Um, you get to decide whether you're going to be a saint or sinner. It's right in the name. They're really pushing the, the your decisions impact the, the story and that they have consequences. And I really, really hope that they deliver on this uh, as much as it sounds like they're 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 pushing it and, and fronting it. Um, 
And you guys know that I, I love some story backdrop, some good story backdrop to my mass slaughter when I'm playing games. So I'm really hyped to get in this game. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get in the game. Don't forget about the giveaway. And I know what I'm turning off right off the bat. We've got a uh, nice little vignette there that, that's going to go away. It's weird that we don't have hands here. And oh my god, it's been so long since I've been in headset. It feels so good to be back. Okay, um, and it's actually not hurting my eyes as much as I thought it would. Um, okay, so we have um, snap or smooth, uh, direction control, head-based or free look. Free look allows movement without facing a specific direction. Uh, yeah, we're going to go free look. Uh, head base allows movement in the direction the head faces. Uh, nausea reduction. No. Okay, still looks a little weird, but uh, we'll roll with it. Um, almost like it's trying to and then not. We'll see if that, that's, a, that's a thing or just a weird quirk. Um, player height. Use OS HMD height settings. Enable to use height settings from your OS HMD. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why has no one else got that? Why does no one else use that? That's amazing. More people use this. Okay. Uh, controls. Um, we have talk, skip, hold, uh, walk, uh, fire, interact, look left, right, uh, crouch, uh, go to top to crouch. Whoa. Whoa. Wee. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I want to turn that off. I want to turn turning off. Uh, go back to Steam. Grab with the grips. Okay. Uh, controls. Hand orientation. Um, let's see. Set your hand orientation. I am right-handed. Uh, disable haptics. Grip mode. Hold. Hybrid. Um, I, I love that they've got explanations here. Press grip once to hold and once more to release objects. Uh, hold grip. Press to... Hold the grip, press to interact with climbables. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it and see how it goes. Um, video, pixel density. Um, I'm just gonna throw all this up there. Ooh, ultra. Okay, I don't seem to be stuttering or anything. Uh, I'm gonna leave pixel density as it is. Um, audio seems to be fine here. Um, HUD, so we can hide UIs, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to leave them all up for right now. That seems good. Um, we've got credits. Uh, an exit game button. An exit game button. They're doing all the things right so far. I don't have a saved game, so I'm going to just pop into new game. Multiple I'm save. I'm ready. Just another survivor. Male, female voice. Oh, and that's why we didn't have hands, because the game didn't know if we were male or female. Decent I Okay, IK. Not not the greatest, but not horrible. Um I'm a pasty white boy. Oh. Must got scars too. Ow. Damn, that looks That looks like I shouldn't have fingers anymore. Okay. Uh start a new game. Uh, crafted weapons have higher durability than found weapons. Crafting is the key to survival. Before entering the world of The Walking Dead, you need to learn the gameplay basics. I'm okay with that. Oh, something was stored. Oh! We got a, we got a shank. I like it. I like it. I wonder what the sensitivity on that is. Not bad, not bad. Not super physicky, but why am I hearing an echo? That's weird. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, reach up to your left shoulder and grab to pull out the backpack. I'm gonna need to figure out what that echo is. Okay. Uh, let go of the backpack and it will auto return to the same shoulder. Oh, nice! Auto returning backpack. Uh, take the food from your backpack and hold it uh, to your mouth to eat and restore stamina. Mm. Nice little. Uh... 
Okay, bandages from your backpack and wrap them around your arm to restore health. I like that we get this little tooltip, but I kind of wish it was a little bit more easy to focus on. How do I bring this up? Oh, okay, I get it. I think. It has to be close enough. All right. Gross. At least it will take care of small wounds. All right. Okay, so I can wrap it and unwrap it. Uh, reach over your right side and grab to pull out your journal. Reach over your right side. Okay. Grab my right nipple. Uh, test details. Uh, let go of the journal and it will auto-return to your chest. Uh, reach over your left side and grab to pull out the flashlight. So the sensitivity on this is pretty good. You actually have to squeeze it. All right, time for some combat. Yes, combat. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, use the left thumbstick to move. Oh, here we've got index uh, controller, whereas before we did not. Okay. All right, it's doing weird stuff with the height there. Ah. Oh, it's got weight to it. It's got some nice weight to it. It feels feels a lot like bone works actually. Did I, did I hit, did I hurt myself? Or I ran out of stamina. Okay. Nice and bloody. Stab into and through the walker's brain to kill it. Can I? Can't, uh... I can. I can actually slash. Look, look. Stand still. I'm cutting you. Okay. I can't really... And I do get tired of holding him, too. Nice. That's a decent system. I don't like the, like, encroaching vignette on it, because it kind of blinds you. Um, but so far, it's not too too horrible. I don't think that that's like a realistic scenario either. I'm not going to sit there and just hold him and, and play around. Okay, I can't seem to get uh, crouching to work. Alright, um... Oh, we've got a little bit of, uh... We've got a little bit of force power too. It's nice. <laughs> Doesn't look like we can use one hand at all. Uh, can I? I can't grab it however I want. Boneworks has spoiled me. It won't let me use the uh, the back end of this. <sighs> nope. I'm swinging around this thing is heavy, apparently. Running out of stamina will make combat and movement more difficult. Yeah, what the hell? It broke. Alright, let's... Okay. I didn't do any of that. I just want to grab the guy. Okay, crouching is really weird. 
Yeah, crouching is really, really weird. Shake off walkers when they grab you. Can I just, like, not have him grab me? Okay, that's not creepy at all. Alrighty then. Let's move on to the next. Weapons! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Go there. I've got an empty pistol. Well, now what? Pick up the pistol. Okay. Uh, you can shove walkers back holding two end weapons. Uh, opens the items of durability and can break. When some guns' durability are low, they can jam. Recock the gun to unjam. Oh, huh. Okay. There we go. So I found Crouch. Hello, sir. Now that you've seen all there is to see, would you short. like to exit the combat tutorial? Uh, hold the B button on the left controller and use the right stick to select the dialogue options. Release B button to confirm your selection. Uh... Yes. Are you sure about that? Whoops. <laughs> that you've seen all there is to see. Would you like to exit the combat tutorial? What you've seen. What you've seen. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Yes, I want to exit. I want to exit. Let me exit. Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Ah, damn, would you look at that. Just remember, them walkers out there ain't gonna treat you as kindly as the ones in here. Now that you've seen all there is to see... Wait, what? Would you like to exit the combat to... Yes, I already said yes. Are you sure? Right, so I gotta let I gotta let them talk and not like molest their face. Ah damn! Would you look at that? I don't know what Just I remember. did other than like them touch him out there with nasty, disgusting hands. Treat you as kindly as the ones in here. Tutorial complete! Yay! Sprinting, climbing, and melee combat uh, use stamina over time. They make you hungry, reducing max stamina. Be down, the tourist <clears throat> in the flesh. Oh, stories about you been buzzing all over the bayou. Word is even reached Nola. <laughs> yeah, but if the city is where you're headed, well, I suspect your story is just beginning. Okay, index support for finger tracking. One lone soul to another. The dead ain't the only thing to be fearing in the Big Easy. Oh, oh, no, give me the... Well, that was a waste of a gun. The tower on one side, looming on the horizon, high and mighty. A little bit of stuttering. All for one ideals and shunning any folks who don't be towing the line. <laughs> Rip. F and chat for that guy. Those with plain renegades are on the other, making everyone's skin crawl with their horror show tactics. 
and the powder keg that's going to make the whole city blow? The reserve. <laughs> I can tell by the spark that jumped up in your eyes that you've heard the legend. I actually got haptics from that. The relief supplies. And when the flood to end all floods hit in an old military bunker. Never distributed to the people because the government didn't know its ass from a hole in the ground. What's that little blue pig? The dead started walking. Oh, all that grub, all those meds, hmm. military grade weapons, and ammo to boot. Untouched, hidden. And guess who's close to unearthing the mother load? That this guy. You're looking guy. at him. <laughs> no, me. But this broken body has seen better days. And I need to get after it real quick. You kind of remind me of a guy I work with. So. It's the beard. If you find yourself itching to step out of the bayou and help out an old man, well, you can find me in the cemetery where I'm holed up. That's creepy. A 50 50 split in your future. Ah, I ain't greedy. And I ain't no fool. Ow, oh my god, that's so bright. Wow. I was not expecting that. You just might be what this sinking city needs to keep his head above water. But then again, <laughs> maybe you're the type. To pull the whole godforsaken place under. Are you a saint or a sinner? Hmm. I haven't decided. Oh, hey! How's it going? No, uh, no. Well, fuck me. Skydance Interactive presents. Get fucked. <laughs> Ow. In association with Skybound. Why is it angled? Is that a Walking Dead thing? Makes me feel like my, my room is tilted or something. It's just slightly unsettling for unknown reasons. Please don't go like super bright white. Okay. Examine items closely to read their tooltips. The most mundane piece of trash may break down into useful crafting materials. <gasps> Did I get away? Day one, late evening. Why does it keep like rotating me that way? Okay. All right. I am going to take care of... Wait, now I'm not hearing the echo. I wonder if it was just something in there making me like hear an echo in that room. If so, that's cool. Hopefully it's not coming through in the recording. But I'm not hearing any echo now, so I think we're, we might be okay. Got a flashlight, but no weapon. Um, I kind of feel like I want to find a weapon. Is there a weapon around here? Is, um, are invisible walls weapons? Uh, if so, I found a weapon. It's a weapon used to bludgeon adventurers' faces. Gamers' faces. I don't know why I said adventurer. We are adventuring. Technically not wrong. Reach out and grab your right, take your journal, view objectives. An uh, old man named Henry lives in the graveyard, told me to meet him here. If I help him find the reserve, he'll split supplies with me. Find old man's hideout. In memory of... That guy. You're crouched. This makes you slower, quieter, and harder to see. Why do I feel like this is a jump scare waiting to happen? Let's 
make sure. Can I grab this? Okay, I'm a little disappointed that I can't just grab objects, but it probably does make the game a little bit lighter and easier. Uh, not, not easier per se, but... Grab onto the top of a flat surface and push down to vault over. Just making sure the fireflies are nice. Let me know if any of those names actually mean anything. Okay. That looks like it should be a thing, but... So you can also just sprint. Okay, you have to grip. I saw that. Are they attracted to light? I hope not. Let's see if like anything's coming that way. Piercing the skull requires a broad range of motion. It does not require extremely fast movement. Okay, save to journal. Light and light. Something on the back of that. Oh, okay. It goes into journal. A patrol had a scrape with a Oh, nice voice. Cyrus got messed up pretty bad, but the savages paid the price. One of the corpses had this drawing on it. Look familiar? <laughs> no. It doesn't bode well. If that little shit and her traitor mother are working with the reclaim to locate the reserve, time is not on our side. No more fucking around. We prioritize their capture and we get that key back. I don't want Mama to worry, so keep this between us for now. Be cautious but aggressive. We stir the herd at 1700. Keep on the hunt till the last minute. The tower will always stand. Georgia. Okay, I don't like that. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to change that. Um, can I change that? This is going to take me to Steam. Yep. Um, there we go. Options. Um, back. Zoom game. Nope. Doesn't change anything. Okay. So yeah, that's that's an issue. Um, I want to physically duck. Why can't I physically duck? Uh, Bartaby has said that there is. I didn't understand what he was saying at the time, and I didn't look into it because I like going into these fresh. Uh, he said that there's a, a way to add ducking with um, or crouching with uh, a few any tweaks. So supposedly there's a way. But I would rather it just be available out the gate without having to go in and do anything else. So uh, in future live streams or whatever, I will go ahead and I'll go ahead and add that fix. So it won't hopefully it won't be an issue or you'll be able to see it in action later. Wait, is this that statue? Kind of ish. Not really, unless that's like falling over. 
but I don't think it has. I'm gonna assume that that's not the angel statue in question. durability Shh. oh wait you're alive such a damn fool no more please hey 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 dude I can't. hey it's okay no more. it's okay relax it's me what happened to you now you show up. Oh, son of a bitch. Both sides. They came down on me. Same time. A slaughter. But I kept my mouth shut. He didn't get shit out of old Henri. Oh, do me a solid. The bus. All I got. All I've done. Don't. I'm begging you. Help the kid. Huh? Come on. 50 50 still stands. Huh? They get mine. Understand? Yeah, I got you, Henry. The only ones who deserve it. The rest? Drown the motherfuckers. I'm sorry I hit you. Henri, who are you talking about? So long, waterfall. So long, waterfall. So long, waterfall. Well, there he goes. Yep. Yeah, we'll leave there as one of them. So long, waterfall. Okay. She. We gotta find a she. Well, there's his bus. I feel like there's not a lot of scavenging yet. I'm trying to scavenge. There's nothing there. And how did they not? Graveyard strut test complete. And la bus test added to the journal. Is this like my my safe yard here? Nothing doing there. This seems like it's my safe yard. Or my, my safe area. My lobby. I can't just let it go? Okay. Oh, ammo goes there. Okay. What the hell does this do? Alright, well we got a thing. God, I can just let that go wherever. That's gonna be a hard uh, thing to remember. Uh, vodka bottle, for those who hate the taste of vodka. 
Vodka for those who hate the taste of vodka? I don't know if that's how that works. Can I just... Okay, I can just do that. Beautiful. All right, so we found scavenging. I assume that doll is just uh, component parts. So maybe this isn't our safe haven after all. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Iris, special. One of a set of seven. One of a kind, it can't be scrapped. Okay. Maybe it, uh, maybe it isn't scrap. This looks like the correct way to go. We should probably just go into. Probably just go get into the, uh, the bus, huh? Okay. I don't know how much I'm liking the hybrid thing. Okay. Not safe at night, can't travel. Yeah, I think we know that firsthand, don't we? Alright, so go to the bus, sleep until day. This is our safe haven. Keep going back and forth on that. food restores max stamina but rotten food lowers max health medicine restores max health bandages restore health uh, max stamina will decrease as you exert yourself okay good um, what are these I heard the mob boss the neighbors were decent cooks um, survival station unlock sterile bandages upgrade one okay this Nutria stew. Uh, lure arrows. Nasty arrows that attract attention where they land. How was that? Hmm. So permanent thing, okay. Permanent upgrades. Things that we can unlock, maybe. All right, so I've got... These are the uh, collector's items. Uh, the, there's the stuff that you get with the collector's edition. The judge. Um, National Guard knife. And the sheriff. I think the sheriff and the National Guard knife are from the, uh, the collector's edition. Uh, the judge might just be from pre-ordering. I don't quite remember. Okay, so this is our, our, our crafting station. I like it. We got all of our shit, like, pin there. Um, can't do anything with that. Got the basic stuff of just a regular shiv. Okay. We'll have to go through all of these at some point in time, but I don't think now is the time. What is this? Heart of Darkness. Um, how do I dismantle stuff? That's, that's good to know. Storing a lot of stuff, here we go. Uh, upgrade your station to unlock the next recipe, craft new gear and items with white recipes, 
Uh, blue recipes are permanent upgrades. Unlock green recipes by discovering special recipes that are hidden in the world. So if we just read the hints, we would have figured out, you know, what we just had to figure out on our own. Hello? Hello? Special microphone attached to this. Okay. Nope. No power. No, okay. I had an inkling, and by God, I was spot on. The reserve, it's out there. It exists. This journal I found proves it. Still, so much work to be done. Stones that gotta be overturned, riddles that need solving. Waterfall and frequency 61 has to be connected to the reserve somehow. Command and control, uh, that, That's the next step. If I can get this blasted radio repaired, wonder if someone's still inside. As soon as my ankle feels steady, gonna take the skiff to that mansion in the garden district. When Niles and I recorded the Tipsy Blue record, the Blue Palace. It's my best shot at finding a microphone for the radio. Power is covered with the bus battery. Just got connected. Antenna too. Got encryption covered. Can't afford any eavesdroppers. <sighs> Haven't slept in three days. These creaky bones are rattling with excitement. So close. I can only imagine what might be in there. <laughs> Grub, meds, weapons. It's gonna be none of that. Oh, hall of a lifetime. Set me up for a decade. Could sure use the tourist help, though. Hell, I'd even be willing to split 40 60 if they make all this easier. Uh, hope they show up before it's too late. Get old. No, it was too late. We didn't show up in time. Can't venture out at night to drink from the flask to sleep until morning, okay? Hey, I'm alone. So we're at what, three of seven? What is this? Um, is this storage? How do we use this? Is there a tips and tricks guide here? No. Soldier's Creed. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior, a member of a team. Yada, 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 yada. Um, for the Marine Corps hymn, thank you. Uh, passcodes. New Orleans, 61. Waterfall. Long waterfall. Okay. I'm going to try... Okay, so this is... Hmm. This is our bank, but... It doesn't look like that's what I wanted. I guess it's just placing it auto? I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. Keep that with us. Um... Putting the antenna on this, probably. It's the side. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um, oh, you know what? He's got the jumper cables there. The battery probably goes here. Um, <laughs> 
perfect. Hello? I gotta repair the microphone. All right, so we need to find a mic. He said he had a mic somewhere. Food, meds, weapons. Sure, sure, buddy. You hear bells run. All right, so we found who she is. Maybe, well, we found a picture of who she is. Uh, so I guess we just go pass out. Not a bad way to pass the night. Available supplies have dwindled. The dead have grown in number. Oh, good. Good. <sighs> Hello, bus. Test completed. And I have random stuff here now. Consume medicine to restore max health. I don't think that I need my max health restored. Eat food to restore max stamina. Okay. How do I break shit down? It hasn't really told me that yet. I don't want to walk around with a full inventory. Okay, so I guess I'm putting all the stuff in here. All the stuff that's not useful. That's useful. That's useful. Candlestick is... That's not useful. Yeah, I'm taking the... Uh, uh oh. It broke. It wasn't supposed to break. Son of a... Stop breaking. There you go. Box of stuff. it wouldn't take me to that page. I'm trying to move a whole page over. Okay. Beautiful. We're good. We're set. Let's go. Let's move. Inventory management is slightly cumbersome. So one, two... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different sections that we can go to. Almost everything you can put in your backpack breaks down into something you can use for crafting. How? I would like to know how I do that. I would have liked to have known that, like, right away. Alright, so if we hear bells run like a scared little bitch, is basically what I got. Oh. Nice, okay, well. Repair the radio, task updated. Uh, max health down, but max stamina up. <laughs> okay, it's not soda, it's alcohol. So just force sense everything around me, basically. Alright, well... 
What do you want, lady? Over here. Be careful. There's walkers around. My What's up? Husband, he's turned. He begged me not to let it happen. But I just So why did you? The trigger. He was all I had left. But he's I He's dead. I, yeah, you did. I'm so ashamed. You should be. Would you be willing to help me out? Yeah, can I, I put a bullet in your head too? To do it. I need someone else to end this nightmare. Listen, lady. I will put him to rest. You will? Thank you. That is so kind. Here, take this key. I locked Ruben in a room. Second floor of the Blue Mansion. Just up the street. I noticed your watch. Looks like you've got the alarm in sync with the chiming bells that rile up the walkers every day. Smart. You don't want to be caught out in the open when this place is overrun by the dead. I'm all... <laughs> About that. You've returned. Thank you. I noticed your watch. Looks yeah. like you've got the alarm. So don't touch people's faces. I love that they actually react to that. Smart. You don't want to be caught out in the open when this place is overrun by the dead. I just wanted to move that and that, now, that hair. One last request. What's up? Ruben's wedding band. If you could retrieve it, it would mean so much to me. At least I could carry one small token with me. From my children. I have nothing. They're just gone. I never even got to say goodbye. Okay then. You're happy. You're a, you're a happy person. So first task in here is to kill somebody. Well, not kill somebody. They're already dead. To, to fix somebody else's mistake of not killing somebody. Alright, so my max stamina is down. That's bright. I am a loot whore, so I'm going to be doing a lot of this. Just as forewarning. No loot uh, left and touched but then at the same time it seems like they've thought of that if I go back and sleep like they put me on a time limit with these bells which is annoying to me personally but probably a good idea so that I can't just go back and forth back and forth stock up stock up stock up and become too powerful the available loot diminishes it sounds like more dead come out, makes things nastier for me. So, it's going to be frustrating to me, but probably a wise move on their part. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff just hanging out in the open. Can I open this? No. Feels very blade and sorcery ish. Has it really been forty five minutes already? Doesn't feel like it. Is a traitor. Maybe Noir is a liar and a thief. She will say and do anything to further her own selfish <gasps> agenda. Do not be fooled. She will not help you. She will corrupt you. <laughs> family. Treated her as if she were my own flesh and blood. Yet she did not hesitate to betray me. 
She tried to turn my dearest and most loyal friends against me. Oh, her treachery knows no bounds. She is desperate and will do the same to you. Do not be fooled. Maybe Noir is a menace. She should be shunned. If you assist her in any way, you will leave us no choice but to consider you an so. enemy of the tower. We do not wish this. Do not force our hand. The tower will always stand. Mama. So Mama sounds like a happy person. I assume this is a real person from a real place in the show. That I should probably know and don't. My stamina goes down really quick. This is also the, this uh, health and uh, stamina UI is in the perfect place. I don't feel like it's in the way, but I also feel like I can see it very easily. I, I like the placement of that. That's probably going to be different for everyone, but it's it's good for me. <laughs> here. I like the hands-on approach with the knife. I'm gonna be fucked when it breaks. But I like it. It's nice and it's I don't know, it just it feels good. It's hard to it's hard to really explain. It's it's a nice visceral, especially with all the gore. Like it really connects that I'm I'm stabbing someone in the face. I think it's it's part of how they're doing the impact too. Like there's a there's a like a oomph and then you gotta push it in a little bit more. It doesn't just slide straight in. Now is not the time to be selfish. Now is the time to commit to a community. To be part of something. Our vision for the future is rooted in hope. It ensures a future for humanity. Has despair aside. There is no point in clinging to it. Do not commit to isolation. Dedicate yourself to a grander purpose, and you will not be alone. Trust in us to guide you, and we will put our trust in you. Within our walls, you will be safe. Within our walls, your needs will be met. Within our walls, Life goes on. The blue the mansion. Will okay. always stand. Mama. That's blue mansion, I assume. Looks like you can vault over that. Turn on me. Maybe Noir is a traitor. Maybe Noir is a liar and a thief. She will say and oh, we do can climb. to further her own selfish agenda. Do not be fooled. She will not help Use grip buttons to grab and she climb certain environmental objects. I considered oh. her family. Treated her as if she were my own flesh and blood. Yet she did not hesitate to betray me. She yeah, I've already heard this. My dearest and most loyal friends against me. Oh, her treachery knows no bounds. She is desperate and will do the Combat. same to you. 
Do not be fooled. Maybe Noir is a menace. She should be. So you said. If you assist her in. I'm hearing the echo again. You will leave us. Why am I hearing that echo? But to consider you and have to figure that out. Of the tower. We do not wish this. Do not force our hand. The tower will always stand. Mama. Breathment. You guys are hearing an echo, I apologize. Nope, it's the one I wanted. Oh no. A rat? Yeah, uh, we need to just be able to uh, crouch on our own without all of this. Nope. Oh. That's it for my uh, my harvesting days. How do I? No. How do I get through that? Okay, no one else, no one else. I hear you, dude. I hear you. See, this right here is why I was just like, okay, this fucking show. Oh, wow. Okay.
Oh, I'm halfway out of my time. My dearest Corinne, I lied to you. I am sorry. I had to spare you. A lost hope. Our children died by my hand. I had to set them free to protect them from a fate worse than death. I know you will never be able to forgive me, but maybe one day you will understand that I had no choice. They did not suffer. Take comfort in that, my love. Reuben. So quest one is, this place sucks. I can't tell if that's supposed to be because the game is echoey? Or if something is screwed up in my uh, Streamlabs setup. Oh, hello. That, uh, is that the kids? I've already got a bow and arrow over my shoulder, but, you know... Shotgun. I think I'm going back. Got a lot more to explore here, but I've got a full inventory. Oh, but I wonder. This is going to be a mistake. Okay, I don't hear anyone. Okay, of course you make noise. I was curious if the blue thing was something that I could pick up. Happened, but it did. Oh, wood. Probably need that. Ah, <laughs> uh, zero out of ten. Would not play again. Don't want to mess with those. This is probably going to end up being a long video, just so you guys know. Okay. Walkers uh, respawn, apparently. I'm being quiet because it feels very much like I should be quiet right now. Let's turn this into what's tits over here. Managing your hunger and... Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Over. Um, you can say that. I recovered the ring. Thank you. This means the world to me. The only reminder of life before all of this. Ruben was a good husband. 
been an amazing father. Hmm, hmm. Yeah. There's no delicate way to put this. Your husband killed you left your the kids. Note. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you say that to me? After everything I have been through? What fucking proof do you have, huh? Show me proof! I found this note. I'm sorry. I see. Please, leave me be. Take the fucking code to the safe. I don't care. Don't do that. Don't do what? I grabbed the thing from you. You gave it to me. Hidden in the blue palace. 3588. So what? That's it? That's it? Boop. Boop. You're in my space. <laughs> I was just booping you. Jeez. All right, I wonder how much daylight going back. I have more of those. Oh, this doesn't go there. God damn it. Any way I can get away with this? Oh, there's no way I. God damn it! I couldn't get back with the fucking. I should have just put something away. I should have put like a spoon away if I'd have been thinking. So now I lose a shotgun. Oh well, I don't like shotguns anyways. Oh, and it just is automatically night. Okay. So no, uh, no second trip. Alright, use scrap materials to craft melee weapons that are sharper and more durable. How the hell do I do that? Alright, let's, uh, let's get the National Guard knife. Apparently I can't get the National Guard knife. Um... Yeah, I can't do that either. How do I scrap stuff? I don't... I don't get that part of... I don't get that part of this. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, salvage items for scrap materials by dropping them in the bin. There we go. Okay, no, those aren't scrappable. This is scrappable. one fiber here get some head <laughs> wood scraps and gunpowder okay. nothing all right Hey, look at that. We got stuff. All right. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We figured this shit out. Um, lemon, lime, soda. Okay. Broken rifle. Um, take the screwdriver. So I'm going to build... Better knife. 
this knife. Drop it in there. Uh, knifey spoony. Bottle. Orange blitz. Is this firewood? One shaft. We got a shaft out of that. I think had gunpowder in it. Breath mint. Sugar and spice. I don't like the negatives. I hate things that have negatives. This is the Holy Bible. Bindings, wood scrap, and adhesive. I love that it works. Okay. Much, 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 much better. All right, let's do some crafting. Let's build some shits. All right, first thing we're going to build is this guy. No, nope, we're gonna... No, come here. What are you doing? That was weird. Am I too far away? I don't understand why it's doing that. All I'm doing is looking at it. Bill? Hey! I got a sharper stabber. So, like I said, this is one of the uh, collector's edition weapons. So I can drop that right there. The other one is the sheriff right here. But I need more pistol frames for that. Oh, you know what? What do I have right here? I've got a pistol frame. Can I... I guess I can't salvage that round. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have any rounds in this to begin with. And I thought I did. Here. Does it come with a pistol frame? It does come with a pistol frame. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Let's make... Let's make the sheriff. All right. Beautiful. 4x durability. Nice. Aiming down sights. I like the sights. I, I like the uh, the iron sights with the dots on them. Those are nice. Okay. Uh, I am going to change a thing, though. Um, there we go. Uh, options. I'm going to do... I'm going to do hold. I'm going to try hold really quick. Uh, resume game. Yeah, that makes much more sense. You don't have to hold it very tight. It's got a nice uh, threshold where, you know, I've only got one finger barely touching and it's enough. I'm barely touching that. Like it's, it's, I'm not putting, exerting any pressure. Like I could stay like this all day and it's still holding. So, They've got good thresholds on the, their grip stuff. And that's just just better for me. Uh, that's going to be a personal preference, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, ten adhesives and lots more wood. So I needed to be focusing on adhesives and wood to level this place up. Uh, this one is ready. Nuts, bolts, and metal for the gear station. Okay, and then we've got... Um, Sprinting is quieter and costs 25% less stamina. Do I, I guess I don't build this one, I just get this one from having this thing. And then next is that, and then, okay. Um, so it's level 3, this is at level 4. At 4, melee costs 25% less stamina. Okay, 
that works. That works for me. Um, is there... Where is food? I have food. Um, I don't have any proteins. I didn't pick up any protein, okay. Bandages, all of this is locked. Um, so I can't even make any food. Hopefully... Okay, I don't have a hunger meter, so I, I guess they assume that I'm just eating here. Uh, and I can't go back out at night. So I guess we're just sleeping and then going back for the other mission. Day three, early morning. Available supplies have dwindled. The dead have grown in number. Oh, no. Ah. No, my stamina is still gone. They did not feed me. On on, the game did not see fit to to give me food. So we need to look for proteins when we come back because all I have is this, uh, which has minus five health, minus five max health. So that kind of sucks. Uh. Well, I got a little bit of food in me. I'll make sure to find some food this go around. We got a nice knife for a weapon. It is about time to end this though but I want to run through here and see about this first mission here repair the radio I at least want to repair the radio so like I said this one might be a longer one where did it leave me this isn't the same place is it it didn't drop me off in the same place Okay. I would have expected it to drop me off in the same place. Why didn't it? Maybe Noir is a traitor. Yeah. Maybe Noir is a liar and. There we go. We can't hold the skip. I saw a dude over here. to do it over here. We're going to find him and we're going to stab him in the face. Oh, okay, we're back at the... the. Oh, hello. We're back at the blue place. Okay, I'm going to go... I'm going to go underneath this time. have to go up that hole or back in through the second story nothing really said where that radio or the yeah the microphone was I think I need to revisit the, uh, the quest oh I found the safe so there's that That's actually a pretty solid mechanic, once you get used to it. And yeah, it starts when I get back in the house, so I think it's... I think it's the game. Um... So what was it? Um, 
three five eight eight. Handguns, an idiot's guide. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. Safety journal, 45 revolver crafting unlocked. Nice. Uh, and 45 revolver ammo. Very nice. Very nice. Definitely worth it. I think I need to find the kitchen, is what I need to find. Put some fiber. Get some fiber in your diet. I don't know if armor is a thing, but... These are blades. count what I'm grabbing. I know I don't grab adhesives. I don't grab too much. There we go. Do we have some meats? Is this Arby's? Do you have the meats? Again, I'm... stack or not but really good to have one. oh there we go there's some protein the uh how logical that this is the, the scrapping like i needed proteins i went to a kitchen and i found a slim gym did you stop that before you leave. Okay, we're full. Let me check this really quick. Um, Henry believed repairing the radio Get him close to the reservoir. Need to get to the shallows. Track down those parts he mentioned. Search the blue mansion for a microphone. So, okay, so it is in here somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. 
Oh, shit. Okay, that could have been bad. Oh, shit. Hey, how's it going? So far, nothing's touched me. That was a little jump scary, but it's fine. It's probably going to be upstairs, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Nope. Shafts, binding, wood scraps, nuts and bolts. Nope, that's not it. Hey, you. So it's outside. Bathroom down below. Should probably grab the adhesives for leveling the thing up, but. Side, which is not where I want to be. There's no like ham radio stuff out here. Lead out front, isn't it? Yep. All right, so it's pretty much got to be upstairs. So that was that room. There we go. Is that telltale purple glow? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now you know what we're eating, Twinkie. Actually, any nuts and bolts in a keyboard, but you know, we'll roll with it. I wonder if this I was able to get out over this. If there would be something out there worthwhile. But I am full, and I have accomplished my mission, so I am getting out of here. And somehow they just keep coming. Let's do some gunplay before we leave. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, the gunplay is kind of bad. It's very, very floaty. It's like it's trying to be a two-handed weapon. It's like it's trying to be super unwieldy. Providing artificial difficulty when shooting shit. Like it's no longer about if you're a good shot or not. Yeah, I don't... Like... How am I supposed to sight down that? Was that five or six? I think that was five. Like, this should be an easy shot for me. Okay, and then we... Oh, did it just auto-reload? It auto-reloaded. Oh, I can... I can see it. It keeps count for me. I've got zero. And then I've got uh, zero 45 cal rounds. Okay. That makes sense. I didn't even use half my time. Bye. Use the map in your journal if you find yourself lost. Uh, interval areas are colored in and skip exit arm. Oh. Oh, there's a map here? I didn't even realize there was a map. Let's track recipes. This must be the map. There's the map. The resting place. I didn't even realize we had a map. Those tips are very helpful, because they didn't teach us that. They didn't teach me that in Walking Dead school. Mom. Okay, so we've been at this a super long time. I want to keep playing. I'm going to keep playing. I'm definitely going to keep playing. I'm going to stream some of this. Uh, but for now... I think we're going to do the radio really quick uh, and then call it after that. Nice. And we'll see some of these, these options here. Hello. Waterfall. What did you just say? Waterfall. That's not possible. Who is this? <laughs> Who are you? Nope. Not falling for that. You alone? Why does that matter? I'm asking the questions. Are you alone? Do not lie. I will find out, and then this conversation's over. Someone else is here. Weird little guy. Staring me down. Doesn't blink at all and he's got this twisted grin plastered on his filthy face. Tell me what he looks like. His outfit is really weird. Purple bodysuit, green sleeves and legs. Tiny little belt with a gold buckle. Purple mask like a trash panda. And he wears this jester hat. Dangly bells and all. Shut up, smartass. You're fucking with me, and I don't appreciate it. If you're straight with me, our conversation continues. And believe me, I'm someone you want on your side. I I know things. Things you're not going to get from any other source. I, I, I need to know, though, that you're above board. We, we both want answers, but mine come first. Okay. I believe you're alone. And I'm pretty sure I know who you are. What I'm most curious about is how you found this station and why you sent Waterfall. You think you know who I am? All right. Tell me. Okay, fine. I'll play along. I suspect you're the one I'm hearing all the radio chatter about. The Drifter? The one they call the Tourist? You're right. You come up with that? 
What kind of jackass creates their own nickname? No, I did not. Catchy, though. Yeah. How to pick something else. It is. And your reputation precedes you. Now let's get back to Waterfall. I came across a journal. Belonged to a soldier. This frequency, Waterfall, New Orleans, written in it. Does anyone else know about it? An old timer named Henri. He's dead. No clue about anyone else. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Sorry. Uh. Okay. I got what I need for now. I know you're telling the truth. Just remember, I've got ears everywhere. I hear it all, from every angle. Okay? Nothing gets past me. Kinky. Now I get it. You're paranoid with really big supersonic ears. A great combination. I'm cautious and I'm resourceful. Don't forget it. Your turn. Keep it brief. I, I got shit to do. Hmm. The Reserve. What do you know about it? I've heard of it. You've probably heard more than most. How about sharing some knowledge? Yeah, well, how would I know more than anyone else? You mentioned your ears were everywhere. You heard of me before I even set foot in NOLA. Seems like someone so informed would know a bit more than the average schmuck when it comes to the thing everyone is talking about, right? Not necessarily. Not too friendly, are we? All right. I'll drop it for now. You know what to call me, but I don't know what to call you. You got a name? I'm not telling you my name, okay? So don't ask anymore. No need for the attitude. Where are you from? Can you share that? A long way from here, but Nola's where I wanted to be assigned, so... <laughs> Fuck, look, enough about me already. I came to Nola to meet up with an old-timer named Henri. Speaking to you through his radio. He wound up dead. Along with a bunch of other folks. No, look, I don't know anything about a dead old man. The old man had a name, and it was Henri. And it seems like Henri was trying to track you down. There must have been a reason, right? I'm telling you, I don't know anything about what's going on up there. There's no reason to track me down. What do you mean by up there? If you're not up here with the rest of us, where are you? That's, uh, that's classified. You, you don't have clearance. In, in fact, I, I don't even know why I'm talking to you right now. What the fuck was that? They coming for you? Shit. It's windy here. I, I don't know. Probably nothing. H hold on. You bullshit. You know what? Fuck you and your line. I'm done with this. I mean, just because I don't fucking know what it is doesn't mean I'm lying about shit. That's got no ammo. Just making sure I uh, clear this systematically first. Get my archery practice right there. I should try the bow out before we leave. Oh, hey, look at what's opened. Hint at the location of quest items. All right, a big van under a big arch. And this requires a key that I don't have. I wonder if I could just grab the door and it'll turn the key for me. Oh, look at this wonderful! This safe haven isn't uh, isn't super safe, now, is it? 
Yeah, this is exactly what we need in the zombie apocalypse to go into the depths here. Oh, yeah, be warned. That's great. Yeah, and the the echo is is got to be from the game at this point. I'm convinced. It's not a setup thing on my end. It sounds too different here now. Which I guess I like, but for content creators is a little confusing. Peter. I would absolutely make all of these uh, game devs. A anyone who worked on the uh, the game would be a dead person in here. He's gonna jump the fuck out at me, isn't he? Okay, maybe not. I was going to go after the bus, wasn't I? God damn it. Okay, so game makes you want to play more. <laughs> the act of his life or the destiny of the next? Feels like it might also be uh, like Arizona Sunshine fun with other people. Maybe Noir is a traitor. Maybe. Maybe this, maybe that. You're very obsessed with this lady. Oh, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Oh, good. And now I'm weaponless. That uh, that knife didn't last as long as I would have expected it to. I mean, the shank lasted longer. It was probably cheaper to make. Oh, there it is. That's what we're looking for right there. I don't have this key, do I? Nope. Okay, back to that gate that we originally found. Non-perishables. Doesn't say anything valuable. There's a safe here. It seems like there's a lot of extras to explore and discover. I kind of expected... Uh, more NPC interaction. I'm being perfectly honest. We've only had, well, I guess not really the one. We've had Henri. We had the one quest giver. Where do you keep coming from? Oh, 
Pockt. I like I like the stats window. It's, it's like you're actually looking at it and inspecting the weapon for its durability. It's a lot of things that are nicely done. It's surprised that that crouch and the weapon handling are bad. So that doesn't work, and you do need to pull the key out and. Skybox is really nice too. I mean, I haven't really looked up a lot, but that's not bad. Nine pieces of a commemorative set, one of a kind. Can't be scrapped. So collectibles to find too. Wait, was that it? I wonder if we were just supposed to, uh... Hmm. I wonder if we were supposed to keep going and exploring out there. Well, I'm not running back through that. I will continue this later. I could also, uh, you know, read my journal entry and see what's what. Who the hell wants to do that, right? Okay, let's see. What are we actually supposed to do here? Uh, investigate the coffin. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go investigate the coffin real quick. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Don't want to leave you hanging on what the coffin is. In reality, I don't want to leave myself hanging on what the coffin is. But it's nicer if I say it's for you guys. Henri, I found two more exiles wandering around the Northwest Corridor today. Was able to get them to safety, get them supplies for a few days. They said it's getting ruthless on the other side of the tower wall. More people exiled every week. We are making a difference out here. But if this pace keeps up, I just don't know. We're going to need more help. More intel to stay one step ahead of the bastards. The mud-slinging posters with my face plastered on them are not helping the situation. Ombra rips them down whenever she sees one, but they are everywhere. As I'm sure you've noticed. I know you want to simplify our system for the tower cash raids, but I need to keep to the shadows. The Sinclair casket and the lantern is working, so we might as well stick with it. Lantern on when there's something for you, off when there's something for me. This way, I can keep my distance, see what's up until I know it's clear. As usual, our resident Picasso has provided a sketch to guide you to the next tower cash. I know I'm biased, but the kid's got ability, right? Maybe you can sit for a portrait one day. Ombra would love that. Same deal with the cash. Supplies are yours. The intel you drop off to me. Be safe. Man. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well. I guess we have to go get that cash now. So. I am going to call it here. Uh, and we're going to... Wow, that thing's heavy. Alright. Uh, and we're going to pick this back up uh, in a live stream at some point, sometime. This actually wasn't as bad on my eyes as I thought, except for that one screen that was all white. Uh, so let's go ahead and skip to the outro. Uh, and then when we come back in for, for live streaming this, because uh, it's been really long... Uh, we'll go ahead and break some stuff down, craft some new stuff, and, uh... Oh, jeez, God, what happened there? Um, 
yeah, and we'll we'll do my final thoughts and be done with this. And hopefully this video wasn't too 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 terribly long. Uh, for the giveaway, for the giveaway, in the comments down below, put either saint or sinner, just one word, one word, capital S A N T, capital S I N N E R. That's it for the comment. That will enter you. Doesn't matter which one. I'm just curious, are you a saint or a sinner? If you want to throw another comment in with everything else, that's perfectly fine. But for your entry into the giveaway, just one word in one comment that says saint or sinner. Capital S, ain't, capital S, inner. No punctuation. That is what will enter you in. I will randomly select one, one week from the date that this video goes live. Uh, so look forward to that and you will get a, uh, I believe it's a standard edition uh, copy of the game. So make sure you check that out, drop that in the comments below and let's go ahead and cut to uh, my final thoughts. Okay, so uh, that was quite a bit longer than what I had intended, as is usual when I come back from a, like a brief hiatus. Um, sorry it was so long. Uh, again, this is The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners from Skydance Interactive, which released January 23rd for $39.99 and or $49.99 and or $149.99, depending on what version you get. Uh, it is a great game it is tense atmospheric visceral melee combat uh an interesting story so far i'm pretty hooked on the story i want to know what this reserve is and who the hell's little mr soldier guy on the other end and how far down underground is he um there are however a few what the fuck design decisions however um for example crouching why the hell can't I just physically crouch? Having a button is good for people who want to sit down on the couch and play. For people who are physically unable to crouch. Having a button is a good thing. Don't take away the physicality of crouching, though, for the people that want to do it. For the people who are VR veterans and their first instinct is to just take a knee in those situations. Let me crouch. I see no reason that this should be locked down to just a button press. I've heard that there's a way to hack a config. There's some in .ini file, um, some any file somewhere that you can tweak a little bit uh, if you're willing to get down in there that will let you do this. But for a game of this quality, that shouldn't be necessary shouldn't be necessary in a game like this why was this a decision how did this get through qa how did this make it through any of the the early testers and without raising this as a red flag and if it's just a, a change to an any file they could have fixed it before launch so i don't understand how this got through anything uh as far as the second issue i don't know that there's a fix for it without them patching it uh and it's the gunplay why does my gun wobble around like I'm trying to hold a rifle like an M16 with just with just three fingers and and it's just like like that's what I felt with the pistol like I've and I've got a hand on it here why is it like floating all around it was so bad I I only shot a few shots out of it I only had a few shots to shoot but it just didn't feel good at all I'm a better marksman than that I feel like, I don't know, it was just, it wasn't good and it wasn't enjoyable. No one, absolutely no one is so bad at guns that they're that floaty with a pistol. Like if it's trying to, to simulate like, oh my God, there's a, there's a huge, uh, you know, adrenaline inducing crowd of undead coming at me and I'm panicking and I'm fumbling. It does a bad job at that. No one is that bad that it's that just floaty and lightweight uh, and with two hands too I was using two hands and it was still that bad uh, being as we are this this sort of infamous or, or famous uh, traveler the the tourist uh, with the reputation that we seem to have I imagine we know our way around firearms which is just another 
you know, point as to why is it trying to simulate this, like, you're bad and can't aim. Uh, apparently we know our way around firearms so well that we can craft them from spare parts from scratch. That's how well we know we know firearms. So, again, that's just another thing that makes me even more confused as to why we're not just better at this. Why is it not my player skill that impacts how I aim? I, I get that we don't you don't probably don't want firearms to be too overpowered, but I mean they're they're loud. They they bring walkers to you. They have other drawbacks. There's limited ammunition. You should only need it in emergency or use it in emergencies. There are other ways to balance it than just making you a horrible piss poor shot that has to wait for the zombie to get in melee range anyways, and then it's not doing you any good to kill them at range. I just I don't see any reason for how bad the pistol felt. The shotgun didn't seem that bad, but I only shot a single plank of wood with it. Uh, I don't know how bad it would be if I was actually trying to to kill something, and that's something we'll get into with the live streams. Um, but I don't think I'll be wasting any more resource on, on on crafting pistols until this is addressed. I just they're they're pointless. I'd rather stab something in the face. It was more satisfying. Um, it's and this is a pretty big black mark in my opinion on in otherwise great game. Uh, when it's there, there's this big combat aspect and pistols should be this great big powerful weapon that you have that's a limited resource high risk high reward sort of situation and it's it ends up being high risk crappy reward because you're probably not even going to hit the thing that you're aiming at because the pistol's so damn floaty it just wasn't good um but those are the, those are the only two real issues crouching and, and and pistol gunplay other than that the game does a lot of things right there are plenty of options in the game to to customize the experience to your liking whether it be your handedness or snapping for smooth or uh you know comfort options with the vignette and how how thorough that is plenty of graphics options just uh a lot of good options in there to to, to let you tweak this to your uh, your needs the game looked great in headset it felt really good the the sounds were even better which together just did a great job at setting a very very tense atmosphere and uh, it, it it just it just felt really good and and the voice acting oh god's good voice acting and there was so much of it i very i, I have no complaints anywhere anywhere else um uh, i love how they didn't overly seem to tell you what the saint and sinner options were there was no like square bracket renegade square bracket paragon that was you know potentially you know gonna alter your decision like well this is gonna be a paragon playthrough i'm gonna be a saint uh and only pick the saint options. You had to sort of play it out and actually think about what are the ramifications of telling this person that her beloved husband killed her children. Is that a saint option? Is that a sinner option? I mean, I could tackle it from the mindset of this guy l wrote this note to his wife. So the saintly thing to do would be to give her the note and fulfill his final wishes since you know she couldn't fulfill his final wishes by you know making sure he didn't turn but you could also take the view that giving her the note is the sinner option because you're just making her world worse who cares about the dead guy the dead guy's already dead you're just you know traumatizing her for the rest of her miserable existence uh, until she dies so I could see it going both ways. It's very gray to me personally. So I'm just going to go through and play based off what I would do. And I don't know if they're going to tell you, oh, you're a saint, you're a sinner, you're somewhere in between. Um, I imagine I'll probably be somewhere in between. Um, and it would be great to have different endings based on that. And you, know, you have to actually strive towards one or the other without uh, a game mechanic telling you which one is the right choice. I really, I really enjoyed that. And just the dialogue options in general, especially the the talk with Soldier Dude. I really enjoyed that conversation. It was, it felt very natural. There was there was one part that felt very unnatural, um, where he's like, "I know you're fucking with me." Okay, I trust you. Like 
that was the only like break in that 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 discussion tree where it didn't really make sense but other than that i really liked just the whole whole concept of you know uh, we, we've got lines to just fuck with this kid um it was good i enjoyed myself and i'm looking forward to having more of those interactions in the future with more npcs uh i was really hoping to, to get to that scene where uh, I think they showed it in one of the trailers. Uh, you got a guy yelling at you, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. And the guy is begging for his life. And you can either shoot the guy or you can shoot the guy. Or you can shoot both the guys. I don't know. Um, speaking of shooting the guy, the, the tutorial, the ending of the tutorial was great. That was a lot of humor in that. I loved it. I love the humor in the game so far. Overall, uh, a very high end VR experience with a couple of questionable quirks that they don't really make or break the game. I say it's definitely worth the pickup for the promised 15 plus hours that they say is in this game. So go ahead and give it a, ch if you're on the fence and this swayed you, then go ahead and, uh, you know, give it a check, give it, give it, give it a check, give it a, check it out, give it a look. Anyways, go play the game. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you think. Uh, and there was instructions for a giveaway somewhere in the gameplay section of the video. Be sure to look for that. Uh, it's it's not sort of it, it's not so much like trying to attract new people. The reason why I put it in the middle of the video like that was to reward people that reward the current viewers that are actually playing the game so uh, playing the game that are actually watching the videos so if you're one of my core viewers i thank you very much and this is here more so as a reward to you the people that are just looking for a quick handout um hopefully they don't watch the video and they don't enter the contest because i want to reward you guys and i'm thinking about other ways to do things like that, uh, rewarding people who are members, like members only contests or, or uh, some such uh, for, for the people that, that join and actually, you know, contribute with, you know, the a subscription. Um, and, and also just, you know, regular long term viewers, people who are in the discord and, you know, chat regularly. Uh, links to the Discord is in the description down below as well if you would like to join that. Uh, this has been very, very long-winded and a very long video, and I apologize for that. So I'm going to go ahead and go check out The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Definitely worth your time. I will see you guys in the next one later.